Hi, it's Mrs A here. I wanted to bring you a bowling game today. So I've had a scout around and this is what I've come up with. In my cupboards, I find some paper cups. So I have put my paper cups end to end and I've put some sticky tape down the sides to hold them together. And that has made my pins that I'm using as my targets. I also found some plastic beakers so they're nice and safe and I've done exactly the same thing with them. The other thing that I had lying around were cardboard tubes and some empty plastic bottles as well so that's what I've used for my targets over there. Now you can make the focus of this game anything you like really it could be a spelling game you could have words in the pins because you can put things inside them so you could have target words or target spellings in there. I've decided to make it a maths game today so if you are in the lower school maybe you're learning your number bonds I would label my cups up with numbers 1 to 10. I would then have a bowl at the cups there we go, I hit one. Let's say that had a number three on it. I would say to my pupil, oh, three and what makes 10? What is three's partner that makes it add up to 10? They would have a little think and they would tell me that three and seven is 10. And there we go, have another bowl and have another go, another question. Moving up the school, I've put some larger numbers on my cups today because I know further up the school they're doing rounding just now so very similar thing have a ball hit a cup uh, can you round the number on that cup to the nearest 10 for me or to the nearest 100 if it was a reading game I would put target words inside the cups and then when the pupil knocks them over I would pull them out show them to the pupil and they would read them if it was going to be a spelling game, I would either put the words in the cups and then when they knock them over, read them to the child and then get the child to spell them. Or if you just wanted to label your cups, you might just have a list of spellings and uh, say they hit cup number eight, I would just get them to spell number eight on the list. It's really up to you, it's really flexible. You can make it as tricky or as easy as you like. I hope that's helpful. Happy bowling!